Chinese Taipei, ready for Russian Federation, Siki Kumbasa. Speed, bro. Speed. Well done, sir. Thank right. you, boss. Nice and straight and long. Everything. So the final bout of this 15th session is the second semi-final in the 91 kilogram plus super heavyweight division. Features boxers from the USA and Australia. The man wearing red, the southpaw, is Richard Torres from Tulare California. 17 years of age, two stoppage victories under his belt to this point. One unanimous point decision win as well. In his three completed bouts to date to the opponent is Justice Huni from Australia. 17 years of age from Brisbane. And he's had three unanimous point decision wins to get through to this final four bronze medal stage. Reigning Australian national youth champion at super heavyweight. As is Torres, he too, the national youth champion. And they're both exchanging big shots. Huni content to fight off the ropes. Being pinned in that place of confinement by Torres, who is invariably on the front foot. It's good right hand to the body from Huni. While Torres is looking for a route for his punches around the side. Launching a big left hook propelled from somewhere down by his calves. There's the same shot again from Torres, but missing on both occasions in recent times. While he's been pinned in this trap position in the corner. 
Torres continuing to bustle away and a few of the shots are getting through. There was a left hand which jolted the head of Healy backwards just a few moments ago. So Huni, I'm sure if, as Conor will remind him, he's producing quality punches off the ropes. But occasionally during this contest, I'm sure his corner are going to tell him that he's got to push the man in red backwards, just as he's trying to do now, but do so with offensive output of his own. There you see him try to do it, just so he satisfies the judges that he can fight on the front foot, that he can be the effective aggressor, and he's not just content to box and counter off the back foot. Important to demonstrate that variety. Him picking off the unrushing Torres there. Torres missing with his follower. Contrasting styles in evidence during that opening round. Suck it up, suck it up, and listen. Listen away. Try to show big head shots. We're missing. Start when you hit here, and then you hit up here. Okay? Good. Let's go back to our boxing. Okay? So we're moving to the second round, and a keenly contested open round fought at this type of distance with invariably Justice Hoonick with his back towards the ropes. From his corner's point of view, they're telling him that when he's in this type of position, though, at range in the space of the ring, that he can outbox him easily. And that is why Hoon is attempting to make an adjustment and hold his feet and make Torres pay as he tries to close the distance. But this is where Torres has been operating all contest long. But credit to Hooney for changing his feet and putting Torres with his back to the ropes because that's not something we saw much of during the opening round. So who can impose their style? Who can impose their tactics on this contest? And go through to meet George's, Georgie Chigladze in the gold medal bout tomorrow. Working away to the body with burrowing punches once again is Torres. Cooney, back to where his corner don't want him on the ropes. He is fighting effectively off the strands. But they want him in the space of the boxing ring where he can use what they feel is superior speed. Cracking right hand from Hooney. And at mid and long range, he does appear to be the quicker boxer. You see Torres fainting with the front foot, but he's walked on to a reverse one-two once again. Right cross, left jab, terrific punch picking from Hooney. And this is where his corner wants him to be, and that's the reason why. Running Torres onto another right hand as he tries to close the distance and work away with his own arcing punches. But again, Huni retreats to the ropes. His corner wants him away from there. Torres continuing to bulldoze his way forward. And look to run amok with his own bent arm punches at mid and short range. Huni up on his toes, moving to his left. He could well be walking onto a right hand from Torres. But this is where Torres wants the contest. And this is meat and drink to a body puncher like that. Look at the way he changed his feet and came around with a good left uppercut. Same shot once again. And Huni doesn't want to be stationary, but he is stationary right now because he's having real difficulty holding Torres off, who despite the single pot shots he's absorbed in round number two, remains in good spirits and continues to come forward. But once it's at range once again, Huni snaking out lefts and rights and finding a home for his shots. You see, there is the danger. Torres with a terrific left hand. As Huni had nowhere to go. And a chopping left hook into his right flank from Torres. Huni trying to operate in the space of the ring. But Torres has other ideas. Terrific round of boxing. 
Both men enjoying moments of success in the space. This man was the governor. It was a terrific second round. Rooney boxed well off the ropes on occasion. It was in this type of range, in the middle of the ring, in the space of the ring, away from the ropes. Because when it was on the ropes, this is where Torres burrowed away, shoveling punches just above the belt line. Seconds out. So to move into the third and final round, conditioning could well play a crucial part in the outcome of this contest. Because who can establish themselves in the position of the ring where they want to be? Can Torres continue to steamroll his way forward and pin Hooney to the ropes? Does Hooney have the dynamism in his legs to get himself away? from the ropes and back into the space of the ring. He now bursting out with punches underneath, but Torres keeps him pinned to the ropes and continuing to club away to both body and head. Torres, the national junior champion in 2014 at 80 plus kilograms, the reigning national youth champion at plus 91. He's got junior champion, a junior Olympic title as well. Again, the variety of national titles available for American boxers. This man has four of them. Richard Torres, Justice Hooney. Four national titles in Australia. Junior title last year and the year before. The highest poundage of plus 80. First year is a youth. He's junior. One kilogram plus super heavyweight gold. We're on the midpoint of this third and final round now. And for the first time in the contest, we see a different pattern of boxing here. Torres willingly going backwards, Justice Hooney turning the pursuer, turning the stalker, didn't stay that way for long. And once again, it's Hooney with his back to the ropes. Has he forced Torres back enough? Has he landed enough eye-catching punches to convince the judges that it's he who should go through to the gold medal bout? Torres has been the aggressor. Hooney has enjoyed single shot success like that. It's been a terrific contest. Hooney up on his toes in the final 30 seconds of this bout. And once again, Torres, is he saving himself? But he runs into a cracking right hand. One of the best punches of the entire bout. There's the same shot again. Perhaps not quite as potent from Hooney. But he's timing that right hand wonderfully. Cocking the shot, this time from the belt line. And just grazing Torres on that occasion. And are those clean pot shots going to prove to be decisive in what has been a nip and tuck contest so far with both boxers enjoying success in their preferred territory? What a contest. Nice to see that warm embrace of respect between the two. As they go, thanks boys, to the corners, to the corner men of their opposite number. But this is going to be a very tight contest to score. What will the judges prefer? Both men get absolutely everything. <laughs> Sam Goodman was outpointed by Samatoli Toltaev in the bantamweight bout in the 14th session. And Justice Hooney make it through to the gold medal bout. USA are currently two from three progressing fighters, fighters through to the final. And it's Justice Hooney 
his back foot boxing has back, back foot boxing has secured him a unanimous 5-0 point decision victory Richard Torres played his part in what was a fantastic contest but Justice Hooney his right hand was particularly effective and in the second and third rounds he was able to operate in the space of the ring in the third round Torres slowed visibly but he comes away with a fantastic bronze medal in what is the biggest tournament of his life to date as a quarter finalist in the world junior championships last year here in st petersburg but this time he has gone one better comes away with championship hardware a world youth bronze but it's justice hooney of australia who goes through to the gold medal bout where he will face george's georgie chigladze what promises to be a fantastic encounter so there's confirmation varying margins of victory but all five judges scoring in favor of justice hooney four of them by just one point that's how close the contest was the judge from korea